Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. Well guys, it's been a while since we talked last time because well, life happens. But I'm gonna resume new videos. Stay tuned for those, so please subscribe, please press the like button and you're gonna see more stuff coming. Today we're gonna be talking about crossover. The reason why I want to talk about crossover once again because they released a new version with totally new UI. They finally redesigned the UI and now it looks much, much better than it used to be. So first of all, let's take a look at the UI. Right here you see the bottles, and bottles is basically like a, like a library with all the stuff necessary for a specific application. And uh, I talked about this in my previous videos, but basically it allows you to kind of mm, separate all applications from each other. It's like a separate environment they run into. Because, for example, this bottle is running as a Windows 7 32-bit environment. If you want to have a different environment, you can create a different uh, bottle. And, for example, you want to install some application and that you want to run into Windows 98 environment, let's say. So for this reason, you're going to click install and you can actually pick the bottle type. As you can see, there's a bunch of different bottle types. You can, you can pick, let's say, Windows 98. And this way you can install something really, really old. But today we're going to be talking about already installed uh, application, already installed bottle, which is a Quake 2. Here's a Quake 2 environment I created myself for uh, specifically for a Quake 2 game because I just really, really love this game. And when we talk about this bottle, there's a bunch of stuff available right here. For example, wine configuration, when you press it, you can actually configure stuff around, for example, drives, graphics, audio, libraries, applications, like whatever. So you can actually um, select stuff right here, which is cool. So it's all right here integrated. And for example, you uh, want to see what's going on with this specific bottle. You press task manager and you can see the stuff running right here. It's all in one place. So now you can actually see it all like, here at once. Uh, it used to be more complex before. It used to be like more actions, more button clicks and all this. So I love it. And um, the main thing that I like about this new approach is that, for example, I can open the C drive, let's say, open C drive. And here's a Quake 2 installed right here. So it's installed right here. Let's say, and how about, how about we just play it? How about we can actually execute this file? Double click, and it's actually gonna run it. Simple as that. Let's play quick. I actually configured already like the video mode. I uh, changed some stuff around. I changed the video mode, and I play around with OpenGL stuff. So it's actually quite good. And I love the fact that I can finally play this game once again, because I, guys, I mean, I love this game. How about we're gonna just um, open one of the saved games right here. I think, uh, let's open this one. And let's see how it works. It actually looks a bit, it looks a bit darker uh, on the video, but right now, for me, it's actually quite fine. So it's, the brightness is fine. So, I don't know, it actually looks quite okay. <laughs> for me, it's playable and all that, so yeah. I love this game. <laughs> One of my favorite games, but I forgot what I should do on this level. So on this level, I should go somewhere, it says the door is open elsewhere, so I need to go to some other place. And probably I need to use the elevator right here. So yeah, I don't know. So I need to go there, I guess. Let's see. Yeah. So when I click this one, Where is this? Man, where should I go? I really forgot. <laughs> because I need to find some key, I guess, to this door, or I need to press specific button, and I forgot. So anyway, this is how it looks like, and Quake is awesome. I love it, and I can play it this way. But for some reason, when I quit the game, it shows error, which is, I'm not really sure what exactly it means here, but the, the game is playable, so it's all good. It also has controls for the um, game controllers. Let's see what it has. Yeah, joystick, test force feedback, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and um, internet settings. This one, I'm not really sure what, why it's necessary, because it's not exactly even Internet Explorer, just some kind of emulation of Internet Explorer. If, because if you go here, let's say, if you open the C drive, program files, uh, Internet Explorer, and if you open this one, 
and you're gonna see this fake crossover web browser which is a uh, rip off of Internet Explorer but with open source uh, stuff and uh, yeah so I don't know why, why we care about this because probably some games actually required for some reason they needed to access something that's why it's there so yeah and similar to reboot you can actually reboot this bottle and just for example if you're running into some troubles so this is how it works install button for installing the applications and you can install anything from here you can actually install uh, let's say uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 so, because it says runs well and this is based on ratings they provide on the crossover website so people can rate stuff and all that I can also rate Quake 2 but this is not really I mean who said limited functionality because it actually works just fine and somebody left this rating and this rating is forever uh, displayed right here I, I don't really care about this rating because it's false and also when I was installing this bottle for some reason it installed Steam and I don't really care about Steam because I I'm playing this game without Steam I'm playing this separately installed separately so separate installer and all this so yeah but there are the options and uh, stuff available right here and it actually shows the software that was installed uh, when the bottle was initialized so this kind of stuff because if it's not installed, it's probably not gonna run well. So for example, the fonts right here. Yeah, so this is how it works, guys. This is the crossover for uh, your Mac, and this is running on top of my M1 Mac, and it's running just fine. I love it. So I can play my favorite games that I used to play back in 2000-ish, uh, like in even uh, end of the 90s, so it's good. So this is how it works, guys. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel, there will be more videos, next time we're gonna talk about DAS, so stay tuned, alright, thank you guys for watching and bye bye.